I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skill. Demolition Man. A mission in Grand Theft Auto Vice City that somehow gained both a positive as well as a negative reception by the Grand Theft Auto community. Also known as that helicopter mission, Demolition Man is a mission that appears fairly early in GTA Vice City's story. Only being about six missions in, or about 20 minutes of gameplay, the premise is simple. Your job is to destroy a building. To do so, you have to use a remote-controlled helicopter to carry four bombs to plant them next to four explosive drums that are inside the complex. I'm not quite sure where the drums came from, but I guess the plot demands it, so here they are magically. You have a time limit of seven minutes to carry all four bombs to their destination. You have to travel back and forth from your starting position to pick up the bombs since you can only carry one at a time, and there's also some enemy characters in the form of stereotypical burly fat angry construction workers, as well as some on-site security that are armed with pistols who are literally labelled as pigs which I find hilarious. The drums in which the bombs have to be placed on are located on four different levels of the construction site. One is on the outside just near the staircase on ground floor, with the three others placed on different floors of the site. Getting access to the floors requires the players to carefully fly the helicopter up a series of stairs and around walls, all while avoiding all the men that are trying to catch the helicopter, like dogs trying to catch a cat up a tree. Each floor can only be accessed by means of the stairs, meaning that the four drums have a set challenge level to gain access to with the one just outside the building being the easiest and shortest distance to travel, and the drum on the third floor being the hardest and longest to travel to. You can do them in any order. There seems to be a divide between the community regarding this mission, so I decided to have a look at the mission myself. It's been a bit of a while since I've last played GTA Vice City, but I do remember the mission fondly. It's only because people on YouTube keep talking about this mission that I'm taking a look at it right now. Playing this mission for the first time since... for at least a decade, I've come to realise just what kind of game Grand Theft Auto Vice City is compared to the games that came after. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. It's a hilarious game with numerous sex jokes and pokes at stereotypes that the game doesn't take itself too seriously, and I love it for that. Why didn't they keep doing this? I like it when games are funny, even if the premise itself is supposed to be all serious and stuff. All right, so we're gonna just drive right into the right into the club. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little talk with the chef here. <laughs> nice uh, talk. Good chef. Yo, don't tell anybody, all right? You know, when they get my order wrong, <laughs> I want to do that so bad. <laughs> don't, but don't do that. Don't. I certainly wouldn't have known what half of the stuff said in game meant when I played it back when I was just a little kid, that's for sure. You want me to drill you? Daddy, what's it mean when someone wants to drill me? Uh, mm, uh well, you, you see, son, it's... Anyways, playing this mission again as an adult who understands all of the, um terminology, this game is infinitely more funny as a result and makes this mission almost impossible to not laugh at. What with all the construction workers mindlessly running towards the RC helicopter like a bunch of cats chasing a laser pointer, the hilarity that ensues when you chop them into little pieces with your propellers launching them into the air, and the one-liners that they just yell out, it's just so funny. Crash kill the malice. It makes this an overall enjoyable mission to play. But is it hard though? Well, let's see what people have to say about this mission. But before that, this video was made possible thanks to our sponsors, Grand RP. Are you a PC gamer looking for a more immersive Grand Theft Auto V online experience with more things to do and explore? Then Grand RP might possibly be for you. In Grand RP, you can take on numerous jobs that are not normally available in the base game of Grand Theft Auto V story mode and online, like being a firefighter, being in the military, a policeman, an ambulance driver, and much, much more. 
Become a narcotics expert, a spy, a trucker, or just a homeless individual. Gain money to buy properties that you can manually customize, buy furniture to decorate said houses, and then fill up the garages with a mixture of in-game and real-life cars. Complete quests, own businesses, dive into the stock market. The possibilities are endless in the world of Grand RP. If you follow the link in the description below, you'll gain access to a whole bunch of starter perks. So what are you waiting for? Grand RP is waiting for you. I made a community post asking people if they thought this mission was easy, hard, or they didn't really mind it. And it would seem the biggest complaint people have, well the people who find it hard, would be the controls. A fair point, the classic games do undoubtedly have pretty bad controls. Well, at least on console anyways. There's a pretty big difference between the console version and the PC versions of both GTA Vice City and GTA 3. The PC versions take advantage of a more third-person shooter style of a game complete with an aim reticule. On the console version, aiming your gun is about as effective as trying to predict the weather with its auto-aim to shoot targets, but on the PC version, you have full control over where you're aiming. That makes certain missions a lot easier on the PC version. Melee combat for one is a breeze thanks to the player's ability to strafe and even <sighs> walk backwards, something that you simply can't do on the console version to the best of my knowledge. But that's on foot controls. In vehicle controls, the PC version actually sucks pretty hard, I must admit. With a bit of tweaking, you can set up a pretty competent bind setup to emulate helicopter controls just like like in GTA 5, but flying with these keys is nowhere near as easy as it is flying with a proper controller. And unfortunately, GTA Vice City, and GTA 3 for that matter, is one of those ye olde games which doesn't have native controller support, so you have no choice but to soldier on. Personally, doing the mission on PC with the keyboard controls, as well as on PS2 with controller, I can complete the mission with ease, but that's just me, because I'm a friggin' helicopter god. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? The handling of the helicopter feels perfectly fine in my opinion. It's a lot faster than the real helicopters that you get to fly later in the game, but at the same time it sort of makes it more agile, making it easier to chop rotund belly construction workers to pieces. But that's just me. For those lacking god skills like me, Remember what I said about the 7 minute timer? Well, that's only from the moment you pick up a bomb. Before then, you have all the time in the world to practice your flying skills, or go inside the building, kill all of the workers and the guards, learn the layout of the building, and then begin the actual mission at your leisure. Speaking of the guards with the guns, you might think that the helicopter doesn't really have that much health to withstand all the gunfire, but that's really not true. The helicopter is pretty darn resilient, at least from my testing, so taking damage isn't really something to worry about, especially since the construction workers only have hammers, so as long as you fly high enough they can't get you. I think everyone is overreacting a little with this mission when they say it's hard though. There's two missions that appear before this one which I would have to argue are much, much harder to complete than Demolition Man. Like the one where you have to chase down this guy in the golf course with no weapons except golf clubs and other melee weapons, and even this mission where you have to destroy these trucks. It's easy on PC thanks to the invention of aiming, but on console, how the hell am I supposed to blow up these barrels that are leg height if my character just shoots over them? Run a car into them and commit suicide? Screw that, I'll just ram the trucks over and over again with vehicles because my pistol doesn't have enough ammo to shoot them to blow them up. I'm sure this issue will be alleviated in the remake though, so it's no biggie. But I digress, what do you think? Make sure to let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in future videos. Thanks for watching.